Good evening, everyone. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to practice writing compound and complex sentences because you're going to have to do that on your test on Friday. Um, so I'm just going to model for you how to write one of each, and then you're going to write one of each on your own and show us that you practiced, okay? So the first kind of sentence I'm going to do is compound. All right. And so I'm going to have to use one of my fanboy words, okay? The fanboy word that I'm going to use is but. So compound sentences are two sentences that are stuck together with a fanboy word in the middle. So my sentence I'm going to write is the natives lived in many harsh environments Now I'm going to put my other sentence, so I need to have a comma and my conjunction, which is but they used their natural resources to adapt. So when you write your compound sentence, what I want you to do is make sure that you have a comma and then you have a conjunction that starts with a fanboy word. The most common fanboy words are and, but, and or. Okay? So I want you to pause the video and I want you to write your compound sentence right here. Okay? All right. So the next kind of sentence that I'm going to go over with you is a complex sentence. With a complex sentence, we use an awubis word. Okay, the awebus word that I'm going to take is even though, so it's actually not even one of the awebus words, but it still is a conjunction, okay? So I'm going to start with my awebus, which is even though the Inuits lived in the cold Arctic ice fields comma because that's my dependent clause that started with my awebus even though ends with the comma now I'm going to write my independent clause they were able to survive okay so I want you to go ahead and I want you to write a complex sentence and I want you to put your awebus word first and I want you to make sure that you circle your keyword, your awebus word, and then circle your comma. So make sure you have both of those right there. So go ahead and pause the video and you write your own complex sentence with an awebus word. You might use the awebus word because, you might use since, you might use if, okay, you might use after, you might use when or you might use until. Okay, so pick one of those, start your sentence with it, don't forget your comma and don't forget your period at the end. Okay, so go ahead and press pause and then come back to me for one more. All right, so we're going to do another complex sentence, but we're going to actually just take this one and we're going to switch it around, okay? So we're going to start with they. We're not going to start with our independent clause, we're, with our dependent clause, we're going to start with our independence. We're not starting with an awebus. So, they were able to survive, and then I'm going to go back and write my dependent clause, even though the Inuit lived in the cold arctic ice fields period at the end do me a favor circle your awebus and since my awebus is in the middle i don't need a comma so i want you to go ahead and the video is all done and i want you to write a complex sentence with the awebus word in the middle 
you could do what I did and just change around the first complex sentence you wrote, or you could write a new one. It's up to you. So tomorrow for um, homework check, your teacher is going to make sure that you just wrote three sentences for us and that you have the keywords circled and commas circled if they're there. All right, have a great night.